warmed up, getting started, and we're going to play a game called Follow the Lever. How this game works is that every time somebody leaves, we're going to follow that character to a brand new place, and then you're going to see a, a scene with that character. Time may have passed, they may be in a totally different spot than when they left, and we're going to have a bunch of fun. And uh, we're looking for one volunteer to help us, maybe from, uh, oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Please, come join. That'd be great. Come on up. How are you doing today? Good. I'm Dan. Hi. This is Jordan. I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. What was your name? Ashton. Ashton? Good to meet you, Ashton. Ashton. Cool. Let's give it up for Ashton. Yeah, everybody. Ashton in the house. So Ashton, what we do here is we're going to make something up right off the top of our heads and you're going to help us, okay? okay. So uh, when one of us walks out here, I want you to walk into their place and just react to what happens. Yeah. All right? Cool. Can we have a word to start this thing out? Any word at all? Star Wars. Potato. I like Star Wars. <laughs> okay. It was first. Star Let's Wars do Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars it is. Okay, great. So here's a couple of scenes featuring Ashton and Star Wars. So remember, Ashton, as soon as one of us walks away, you walk in, okay? Why don't you kick it off with Ashton? I'll kick it off with Ashton. Yeah. Okay, great. Ashton, we're going to start it out, actually. Me and you, okay? Okay. Master Yoda, yeah. I've come to you to complete my Jedi training. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Oh, you think I could? You think maybe I could train Jedi's one day? Yeah. Really? Wow. Uh, well, wouldn't that kind of put you out of a job, though? No. Oh. You'd be my boss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That seems fair. But for now, let's complete my training, Master Yoda. Yeah. All right. Now I've worked really hard on a front flip. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to show that off to you now. Okay. Front flip, Jedi front flip, force enabled. Master Yoda, I have brought the cups of coffee that you requested for him to hold in his hand while he flips, keeping the coffee in the cups. I, I really only worked on the front flip. I, uh, Master, with your, with your force powers, I know I can do this. Okay. Let's be careful, he's real vicious. I've seen him pull the coffee right out of people's hands. Whoa! <laughs> Both cups at once. But, Master Yoda, you're standing a lot like the Emperor would stand before he throws force lightning. He's turning to the dark side. Right before our very eyes. I've never seen a turn like this. Wow. He still seems so happy to be part of the dark side, though. He's very happy. He's giddy. He's enjoying evil far too much. The power is just getting to him. Look at him. I can see him. He's just... Oh, my God! <laughs> That is just enough to hurt us terribly without killing us. It took a lot out of him too, though, I can see. Oh, my goodness. Oh. You know what? Maybe I'll join the dark side as well. Oh. Just like that? Just like that. After one lightning zap? After one lightning zap. I'm glad we didn't send you into the field. Me too. Me too. Well, since you did not join the dark side, here's the punishment. Yeah, all right. Dark side. Yeah, dark side. As well. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Never could master the front flip. Let's go, master. Let's go. All right. Sweet. Well, I feel warm if nobody else does. That's totally cool with me. So uh, here comes, here comes Bill. Here comes Heidi. Here comes Cliff. And we got our stock right now. Welcome to Hard Stock. I'm Bill. I'm Heidi. And I'm Cliff. That's Heidi Goliath. Hi. Heidi Goliath. Yeah. yeah. And you know why she's Heidi Goliath? No, because on the last show we talked about the fact that Heidi has a podcast. <laughs> so we have a podcast. It's called Hobby Podcast. And guess what? Heidi finally listened to our podcast. Finally. It wasn't finally. I listened to the podcast when you guys were starting. Okay. If this is not an indication to you, when you don't listen, we'll talk to you. When you do listen, we'll talk to you. Do you notice the pattern here? You see always watch me. Pretty much. Yes. So it's about time you listened.
<laughs> it's good that she tuned in. As Heidi I Hawaii. know, right? Yeah, that's right. That was good fun so, last night. Uh, I should have I should have tuned in as someone inconspicuous, like pretend I was someone else. Right. Yeah, you should have. We kind of guessed. <laughs> it's it kind of pretty quick. First, first thing Cliff said was, "Heidi's listening." I know, and it was this, this, this sort of aura of shock as I said it. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. All right, I almost, so, I almost choked on my. Why water. is that? I know, right? Yeah, is that what it was? Was water? I, yeah, that's. Hilarious. I had to mute my mic. Ah, I see. So twice in one month, we're doing this twice in one Here month. We are. Two times in February, Two. we're back. Yes. Why? That's. I'm almost tired from doing that twice. <laughs> twice. So how's you guys? You know, how have you guys been? It's been two weeks since we were last year. It yeah, has. Heidi. How have you been? I've been wonderful. That's good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our beautiful mugs. These lovelies. Arts talk mugs. Our arts talk mugs. I had to remember <laughs> to bring it, and I was so like, because I, I forget things all the time. So I was like, I'm right, gonna yes. forget it. And then last night, I actually had like a stress dream. I don't want to call it a nightmare, but a stress dream. A stress about dream. About forgetting the mug. The mug. And having wow. to turn around and drive home. Well, you must have rubbed it. off on me because notice, no mug. Cliff did not bring a mug. No. <gasps> I know, right? Totally forgot. You're supposed to drive home and get it. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Head back all the way to where you live. <laughs> right. Which yeah. is a little ways from like here. A smidgen minutes. ways from here, yep. Get your mug and come back. Deal. We'll still be here. Okay. <laughs> we'll <pause the> show. <laughs> can no, can you won't. cut this? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we got another big show tonight. I am pretty excited about today's show. Are you now? So tell am. us about one of the guests. Jana Lapel. She's a great friend of mine, and Whoa. she is also an author of a book nice. called Under the Makeup It's Me. We're going to be talking about her book. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. We also have joining us Jennifer Boudreaux, <gasps> who was my original co-host on this show, so yeah. she would have been up here with me. Yeah, and you know, I was telling Jennifer this, so I'll tell you know the viewers and the listeners this as well. You know, when Bill's on air, he's all you know la la la, and also everything is fantastic and great. And the moment the camera shuts down, he's like, "I really miss Jennifer. I can't. I don't know why you guys are here and she's not here, etc., etc., etc." Yeah. So he finally got his wish, and we're bringing her back on the, the show. Right. Yeah. All right. So he's constantly dissing us in the background as soon as the camera shuts down and just talking about Jennifer on a regular basis. I would never diss you guys behind your front. It just straight up, right? Right to your face. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, <What>? so in, <laughs> behind your front. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So just to, you know, just to pacify Bill, we decided that we're going to get Jennifer on the show. Yeah. So she she's can, here. Oh, my goodness. I have someone that can make fun of you guys with me. I uh, won't be the only person. So you think person. Jennifer's going to team up with, with yes, you? Yes. What makes power. you think that? Jennifer's sitting off smiling right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing this. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what this means, but this is what she's doing. It means that you guys are in for in for it. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. Nope. Yeah. We can handle ourselves. <laughs> 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 and we have good improv, of course. Yeah. And we have good improv. We always have good improv. You know, and that's awesome. Good improv, great improv, humble improv, whatever we call whatever them. we call them, mm -hmm. day to day, month to month, week to week, it changes. We change. You know, that but I, I've got to say, having my son on was a little nerve wracking at the top. Uh, so, good improv came up with Ashton, and Ashton is my boy. Warm up nice. audience. <laughs> Giggled the entire time. <laughs> I know, right? He <laughs> just stood there and giggled. I that was good improv too. That's kind of awesome. I just giggle the whole time when yeah. I'm up here with good improv. It's the same thing. Yeah. Well, I think we should get underway. Don't Let's you? Do it. I think so. Underway. Talking. Underway. All right. Get underway. We'll so be right back after this. Do it. Welcome back, Arts okay. Talk. Today we have the fabulous Jana Lapel, who has written, can you show us this beautiful book? And I talked about it in our last show. It is called Under the Makeup, It's Me. And I think we're gonna, right off the bat, I'm gonna ask you a question. How did you come up with this name? Well, that's what everybody asks me. How did you come up with this? Well, being in show business all my life, you wear a lot of makeup. And I became a clown for, well, now it's been over 40 years. Mm. I was Christy Clown had a company called Christy Clown and Friends. So that was the place that I went through a lot of healing in my life, because it was a crazy life, crazier than you would probably believe. But that's why, under the makeup, it's me. I was doing a, a, a video 
a training video for teachers of kindergarten kids working with Red Deer College Early Childhood Development. And they wanted me to come to the classrooms as myself, bring all my gear, the wig, the makeup, and everything, and talk to the kids about, you know, when you see me at Red Deer College on stage with my troupe of musical theater clowns, you'll see me wearing this, and I'll be Christy Clown. But today, I'm just a regular lady visiting your class. Well, we wanted to do a study on how they perceive, you know, Big Bird is really a guy under the feathers, and, and that kind of thing. So they went to the Festival of the Arts at Red Deer College. That's fascinating. <laughs> how, old, how, old, how old were the children that you would... Oh, kindergarten. Kindergartens, okay. Yeah, and, and the study was a video that we were going to produce for teachers to look at how the kids went back to the classroom after the seeing me on stage. Just seeing you, yes. And they said, oh, no, no, that wasn't the lady that came to our class, Mrs. Nelson. That was a real lady. <laughs> <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> so hence the it's me. Yeah, so uh, when I was editing this video, I was working at the old QCTV in the 80s. The 80s. So it was uh, before Shaw took over the whole right. city. And uh, so I was editing, and the title came up on the screen, Under the Makeup, It's Me, and I thought, yep, that's, that's the title of the book I promised to write for years. And it took five years to write it. And That's I, nothing I beat myself book. up for being this old to write this book, but I hadn't lived it yet. Nice. So Under the Makeup It's Me is about fantasy reality, and I identified with the kindergarten kids because I didn't know the difference either. Cool. <laughs> A so, lot of my life. So in writing the memoir, you discovered something about yourself. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a totally therapeutic endeavor. Nice. Eh? It's, it's, it's great when writing is cathartic, right? <laughs> It's it's cheap. I mean, it's super ink and paper. <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> cheap therapy. Mm. I love Absolutely. Kleenex, though, because I cried a lot too. Right, and new keyboards, and new and new keyboards. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I've got to say that I cried while reading your book. It is, you know, there's some parts that are really hard to read and hard to get through, but it's powerful, and I think that you're really brave for writing such a powerful story, your I, story. Well, I sort of felt like, you know, I made so many mistakes, I'm a warning, not an example. <laughs> I gotta warn these people, in this generation, <laughs> choose what I chose, you're gonna have a lot of history. That, 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 that's neat though, that, that you're an example. I used to have a teacher that used to say, take Cliff for an example and don't bring him back. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it really is, isn't it? I know. I want to. I want to. Someday, when I write something, I want to use that. I mean, you know, he won't be around, so I can just plagiarize. You know, it's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be around. You can use mine too. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. So, so, Jana, you mentioned it took you five years. Yeah. To write on and off. On yeah. and off. So that's, yeah. what, that's what I was going to ask. So you know, yeah. we, we you would just all of a sudden you you feel you had to sit down and, and get something onto paper. <laughs> Or into the computer, whichever you were using for, for writing. Did you write yeah. this on computer or did you? Um, on computer. On computer? Yeah. So yeah. it was just on and off. And as you said, it was, it was emotional for you to write. So is that part of the reason why it took well, so long? You know, one of the things was that I started and stopped many times. And they always get lost in a pile of papers or, you know, the circular right. file. But when the Me Too thing broke on social media, I knew that's where my story began, and, and it went on from there, crazy, crazy. I swear that has been quite a catalyst for many writers, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. So I needed to do this for me, and uh, I said if, if there's even one other person's life who would be impacted by this book, it's worth what I've gone through to do it. Mm -hmm. Guess what? My good friend who helped me with my book launch uh, read my book, and the back cover says, uh, I'm a modern-day version of the biblical woman at the well. Oh. He had five husbands. <laughs> he volunteered to be number six. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got married <laughs> again uh, November 3rd of 2018. That's awesome. After releasing wow. self publishing. Nice. Isn't that fantastic? So that person's life was changed. Right. His, his name is Hudit Bipat. Wow. And on the picture here, the, a showbiz picture from Chicago in my 20s, it says Jana Who. Jana who and Jana hooded? Jana hooded. <laughs> <laughs> Seems there's some full circle stuff fun, going right? on, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So Very interesting. So beginnings, even in your senior years. You know, that's fantastic yeah, news. Sure. One, it really is. One bit of thing we forgot to tell. Yes, Heidi. so we have some exciting news about your book. Um, we have, I'll, I'll let you break it. Because it's your it's your big Breaking news. news. Breaking news here in Arts Talk. You hear hear it for hear it here first. Did I say that right? Pretty I don't close. Know. I yeah. Uh, good to me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I 
am so pleased that Jana has allowed me to take part in the next step of your book. And what is this step, Jana? Well, I always dreamed that I would narrate the book and do an audio book. But I didn't know how and where and did nice. I have the means to do this. And Heidi called me. I was in Minnesota for my birthday on Groundhog's Day. And the next morning, she let me know that she was volunteering to be the one that would help me do this. Nice. Because she does a podcast, you guys. Did so you do know we. that? <laughs> I so know do, you so do. do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Heidi and I are working on this together. Awesome. That's fantastic. And it's really So you're going to record me. an audio version of it. That's yeah. awesome. So yeah. are you going to read it or are you going to read it? I'm reading it. You're reading it. I get to see all those parts. <laughs> nice. Heidi is the recording <laughs> Well, it engineer. is you after all. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sometime or other back yeah. then. Yeah, it's like I... I mean, I am an actor, but it's not my story to tell. And I just felt so, I don't know, does this pull to, to help you with it? And I think it, there's so many people that don't read books, right. but they'll listen to audiobooks or listen to podcasts. So this mm -hmm. is such a great way to get the story into no, hands sure. of people who wouldn't necessarily get a chance to know your story. Yeah, big time. So this is another dream. Don't stop dreaming, even if you get old. No. <laughs> no. So thanks to Heidi, this dream is coming alive. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no, just keep on going. Go ahead, Cliff. Uh, no, I was just going to say dreaming um, as you get old is good, because as you get old, you probably sleep less. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so have some more waking <laughs> dreams, right? I don't know. The That's problem just with dreaming exactly. is sometimes they're nightmares. Exactly, I you right? I about nightmares. <laughs> and I've had lots of nightmares. Nice. But yeah. when you're awake to have the good dreams, mm -hmm. well, you know, that kind of overcomes or balances cool. out the fact that nice yeah, time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? So tell us quickly, Janet, where can people find the book? Well, up to now, the book has just been me selling the book online and my website uh, com. Okay. and emails and phone calls texts mm -hmm. and it's twenty dollars no gst awesome not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> not small yet. sales yeah <laughs> nice sell enough of them and there will be <laughs> well i don't know with this come back in six audio, months and who knows you might be a, well, one of the best hey. sellers list. well i tell you what i mean we have about 14 or 1500 likes on our facebook page yes. you know if all you folks out there would um decide to buy jana's book that would be quite the boost right oh for sure wow. yeah thank you guys for having me here and this is fantastic all of your fans this is so great to hear you this is really this is really yeah. cool it's it's both awesome inspiring it's very inspiring to me in it's extremely inspiring to me mm -hmm. uh, um well, uh, and i can i can tell you why later but it's yeah. it's very inspiring to me an awful lot of people come up to me and say you know what what happened to you happened to me nice. right and so there's a reason to write mm -hmm. a book like yeah. this right but because of showbiz there's not all dark Right. There's a lot of fun stuff. Well, in of there. course. For sure. I mean, I had a great time. Well, we'll have to, uh, we're just about out of time, so I'll have to get you back on the show again at some point and talk about your whole showbiz career. I'll tell, me how, I'll tell you how many of your people liked me on Facebook, huh? There you, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jana, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you for bringing you up the book. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Heidi. And we'll be right we're back after this. back with Arts Talk. Great interview with Jana. That was uh, great to have her on the show for sure. But now we have my ex-co-host who started with me nine years ago on this show. We ran the show together right through our television time at, at Shaw and then for a little bit of online time after. I don't even know if I have to introduce her to all of our fans. You'll probably recognize who she is, but Jennifer Boudreaux is back in the house with Arts Talk. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so excited to and be back. And it was important for Jennifer to have her own couch. Such a diva, right? So that's why we're all squished yeah. in here together, so that she could have her own spot. Are you comfortable? It's because she's Actra. Mm, yeah, this is great, guys. <laughs> this she's is great. Union. She's union now, so... Yeah. I wanted yeah. to do the interview standing, but I noticed that Bill only hired 
pass that were the same height as him, so it would look really awkward if <laughs> I was standing there. <laughs> well, we battled over that for years, Jen. Yeah. Did I not use yeah. a box once during uh, an did. interview at Shaw TV? You would, you would always stand on the stairs. I remember at the art battle, you yeah. positioned to do the opening and closing, so you were standing like so, two so stairs they, up, so they, we would be at the same yeah. height. The crew put me on the stairs, so we would look at least the same height. That was the best. Yeah. Would you like to join me over I'd here? Okay. Oh, wow. The boys look uncomfortable. <laughs> so, Jen, what have you been up to for all this time since well, you left our show? Well, I first went through a deep depression. I'm when sure I you left did. Arts talk. Yeah. The withdrawal that Bill still feels. I got over pretty quickly, but <laughs> still missed arts talk. Uh, I went back to school, did some stunts. Wow. Like a badass. It was pretty crazy. I think I saw some video of that. Yeah, it was. I, they made me look like a ninja. Wow. All the, but it was all acting. All acting. You're just that good, right? You can become a ninja <laughs> on command, right? And they had a really good editor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A really good editor. Um, and I just produced, or I'm in the process of producing a film that we've sent into Telefilm and hopes to get the grant that they're giving away this nice. spring. Nice. So if we get it, then we will be shooting in June. And it's going to be really exciting, but I don't want to tell you too much about it because you'll what have to mean? have me on the show again. <laughs> Can you tell us the name of it, or is that like still like lock and key down? Uh, Can't say anything. It's just a working title, but right now we're calling it the Summer Powwow, the or the Powwow Summer. The Powwow Summer. The Powwow Summer. Wow. So that kind of hints a little bit around the themes. Well, you'll have to when it's ready, and when that time comes, you can send us a trailer. Oh, I will, definitely. Yeah, not the trailer that we usually park outside for you, which is not here tonight. I know. But I know. a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I'll think about it, you know. Yeah, Jennifer okay. had some pretty high expectations <laughs> on this show, so we always made sure that she was taken care of as the, the co-host with, you know, makeup artists and all that kind of stuff, so. Out of everything, I miss Becky, my makeup artist, the Yes, most. Becky was our makeup artist um, when we were on television. She would just powder me, and it was so great. Yeah, she powdered me I as well. Her. Yeah. Lots of powder. <laughs> Listen, if, anybody, if anybody, if I needed, needed powder, powder, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You should reach out yeah. to Becky. I mean, there She's are actually no lights on in this in this coffee shop right now. It's just the reflection that's lighting up the whole room as we speak. So it's true. So Jen, how does it feel now to be back in front of the Arts Talk camera? You know, it's way scarier being the guest. The whole drive here, I was like, what am I going to talk about? I'm not interesting. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> and had I known it would be so freaky as the guest, I probably wouldn't have come. And I might have been nicer to them when I was the host. <laughs> <laughs> you know, said more encouraging things leading up to the interview. Uh, like, perspective. You got those hard CNN questions that Heidi used to, uh, yeah. or that Jennifer used to ask. Remember all those hard CNN questions? Yeah, like, don't mess this up. <laughs> all right? You got yeah. seven minutes. We'd have it. the most nervous guest come on to set, and that would be Jen. <laughs> Don't mess this up. Is that what you're wearing? Is <laughs> <laughs> that what you're wearing? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. It's good no, to have you back. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I never got on the show as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we should have had you guys on when we were hosting it together. <laughs> It was good. We made them into stronger interviewees by the time that they left. Right. Either that yeah. or they're curled up in a ball somewhere afterwards, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate show business. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but if I seem to remember something about Arts Talk is that I never have missed a show, but somebody on this couch has. Seriously. Oh, like when I dis d disappeared from my secret military contract? That yes. One? Yeah, it's she disappeared for some you know, classified, classified military classified contract. Military contract. Yeah. So I had to find another co-host <laughs> to take over that spot while she was off secretly and with some she military contract. You had to get a few people. <laughs> no, this was before this. Oh, this was before. Yes, yeah, this, this was before. This one when we were on TV. Oh, I see. Okay. And I had to do that. Yeah, those were the days. No, that was, this was before. We were still yeah. on television at that point. He oh, had an okay. easier time finding a co-host because we were sitting down the whole time for that <laughs> one. Yes. So it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Yeah. Right? We yeah. did do the odd standing interview, but again, because Jennifer would always wear high heels to the show, it made it even worse for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on until, you know, you looked at me and you went, are you standing up? And I went, you know, <laughs> yes, right? And he goes, oh. Perfect. Score. <laughs> yes. You're in. That was the big thing. Yeah, we had to know everybody's height that auditioned when you left. That's right. I was so. trying to think of what my favorite episode was 
from when we were on the show, but I think That's I really idea. love the ones where we went out and we did the activities. Mm-hmm. Facebook is super good at memories. I don't know if you guys have heard of Facebook. It's pretty cool. I've heard of Facebook, but yeah. They recently, it was the drumming that we did. Yes. And it was you and Chase up at the big drum just pounding away. It was so funny. That was fun, yeah. yeah. And you found it on the Facebook? Did the you? Facebook, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Check it out, you guys, if you get a chance. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot of... Uh, uh, yeah, they're all... Yeah. <laughs> Now, yeah. We did a lot of fun shows that yeah, we had. The magicians. The magicians we had on the show. Yeah. I remember when I was going to audition for Arts Talk and I watched an episode that you were uh, both doing, obviously. <laughs> and um, you guys were doing improv and it was so fun to watch. Do you remember doing that? You don't remember doing that. <laughs> I feel like that was one of the live shows. Okay. And Maybe. The stage fright is pretty crazy for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> when I first uh, said to Shaw TV we w- that I wanted to do a show in front of a live audience, they were all for it. Yeah. It was her that we had to yeah, like, convince. Are you sure? Are She's you fine sure? when it's just a camera, but when there was a live audience, so there's actually a picture on the Facebook, <laughs> the Facebook yeah. of, oh, we shot a live show at the Walterdale. Yeah. And uh, of me holding Jennifer's <laughs> hair back while she's throwing up into the bucket upstairs before we come down to prepping. do the show. Yeah, yeah. Then I look so that was Jennifer's prep camera, for the show. So. <laughs> nice. So here's this person that we could do it. You know, we'd go to the, the, the studio. We'd have like three, four cameras. We'd have like 14 crew members back there. No Easy. issue. But as soon as we had to go shoot in front of a live audience, yeah, I, it was not, not a good thing. I'm not into the instant gratification of whether they liked it or not. I don't want to know. You don't want to know <laughs> in that moment. Know, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait and see how many likes I get later on the Facebook. On the Facebook. <laughs> on the, yeah. on the Facebook. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, we had a lot of fun times going out and doing shows at farmer's markets and all over. I noticed that you guys have upgraded yeah. since I left. We there got Arts Talk mugs. mugs. that you didn't bring me one. Oh, and I heard that there's a job opening because somebody left there. So left That's their mug. Cool. Yeah. yeah. They didn't bring it. Well, we did lose one of our co-hosts. Went off to Vancouver. <laughs> Yes, so we actually had, t- we had Terry uh, and Heidi were our co-hosts together. So Heidi actually did have somebody that she could kind of lean on if, if the going got, got tough with Cliff yeah, and though I. If you actually look back, though, Terry and I tortured her just as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we always mixed up their names. So it was, you know, she became Terry and Terry became Heidi. And you know what? As long as you get them right, it doesn't matter the order. That's right. Did I, not once did I ever mess up your name on the show. Well, no, you weren't allowed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the rider. <laughs> yeah, I never, I, I never introduced her. She always introduced herself. Yeah, I just kind of sat back. Nice. <laughs> High maintenance is good. Yes. So where's Arts Talk going from here? This is like, this well, is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's, it's gone that? really well. Like, as Cliff has said, our, our likes on our Facebook page are grown immensely over the past year. And nice. uh, that's in good part, too. We have street reporters now that go out and shoot stuff and fire up uh, awesome. interviews on the Facebook have done page. a remarkable job. Amazing job. Yes. Nice. Are they hitting all the festivals and stuff in town? They're doing whatever they can get yeah, out and the cover. Theaters, like, you know, the, 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 the Walterdale, the... You name it, the dance clubs, the, um, you know, the local um, uh, community theaters, you name it. These guys are amazing. They're just everywhere at once. And, yes. and they put up just fantastic stuff. It's been great. Stuff. It's it has nice. been great. So, Jen, would you ever think at some point you'd want to be back on this show? Oh, that's a loaded question, Bill. Do I know. I have to answer I'm putting you on now? the spot. This know. is that hard hit, hitting type question. Well, it'll be a long rider. <laughs> yeah. No, everybody went silence. There just there was just silence. <laughs> yeah. No red M and M's. I would come back to torture you anytime. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at <her. laughs> Look at Heidi. <laughs> so you thought that you know we? Heidi, we I wouldn't be so optimistic, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I suspect I suspect she'll turn on a dime. <laughs> Hey, for All the right price, hey, that's I'm, what I'm totally saying. in. <laughs> yeah. And not just the price, the yeah. fun of it. Right? Or for I mean, the right for price, I'm out, Exactly, too. For, the uh-huh. Right, uh-huh. for the right fun of the right person torturing uh-huh. the right people. Believe me, there's all kinds of options. So for about seven and a half years, ballpark, I would yeah. get tortured by her. And right. Trevor, who's our floor director back here on the show, hey, was Trev. with us. Yeah. He was with us from the beginning, right. right through the television. So he would see some of the abuse that I would take on the set during the show. 
you know, but I always handled it like a professional. Nice. No, you didn't. On camera anyway, on camera. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Cliff? You said uh, for the, the right person. Well, yeah, there's two right great people right here to tease no but we're not as much fun as no yes you, you are you are you are just haven't haven't given me a chance mistake. I gave them so they both have mics now, now. Nah. Uh, uh, that's uh, rude <laughs> <laughs> nana boo boo how long this interview's already gone on unbelievable you know <laughs> we've got three minutes folks yeah. oh, no, we're three minutes over three minutes over we're three oh. minutes over oh yeah. well, you, you well, disrupt you, you. <laughs> You just can't let me go. I knew it. <laughs> well, since we're three minutes over, thanks, Jen, for being on yeah, the show. thank oh, you. You're super welcome. Thanks it's for awesome having for you to me. C- come back to uh, Arts Talk. Keep us up to date. And when your film is, is closer and you do have that trailer. Oh, definitely. We'll have to definitely. If you need a bigger couch next time, let us know. I will. <laughs> yeah. Softer, maybe? You know, some throw pillows, a latte, you know. <laughs> a latte? Yeah. White M and M's. All right. Well, that brings us White to the end of the M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Jen. It's nice to have you Thank back you. with Thank us in guys. front of the Arts Talk and camera. Thanks for taking such good care of Bill. Aww. Aww, well, well, thanks. We'll be right back after. He's this. high maintenance. <laughs> It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. Watch out now. It's gotta be against the law to look this and damn good. And we're back here on Arts Talk with some events sponsored by the Edmonton News Online Magazine. It's a great publication, you really should check them out, everybody. I'd like to tell you about the first event here. It's called A Night of Motown. That's happening at the Northern Alberta Jubilee Auditorium, March 5th, 2020. We decided to keep it a little more casual here for the events today. So I got into my casual clothes and Jordan will be in an amenity. He's just changing into something more casual as well. Here we go. A night of Motown. March 5th, 2020. I'm sure Jordan will be here any moment. March 5th, 20... Oh, hello, Jordan. You got in your casual wear? Yes. I have changed into my casual attire, as of you. Now let's begin the events. A Night of Motown, the Northern Alberta Jubilee Auditorium, March 5th. Come join Terrell Edwards and friends as they present A Night of Motown at the Northern Alberta Jubilee Auditorium. So not only do you get Terrell Edwards there, you get all his pals as well. You'll be brought back to one of the most memorable times in music history. Some commentary now. Motown is not only the greatest pop music hit factory ever heard, but a state of mind, a way of life, the style. The Sound of Young America. The distinctive, upbeat, and uplifting music brought together pop and soul, white and black, old and young, like never before. And that continues to this day. Jordan? Thank you, Dan. Forty years. That's four decades after recording his first album, Fred Penner brings his The Cat came back 40th anniversary tour to the Windspear Center March 12th. Tiar! Tiar to you, Dan. The next event I'd like to share here is Equus, the story of the horse and concert. That's happening March 19th at the Windspear Center. Now, before you get all excited, all uh, all of the musicians will be human beings. It's not actually a horse concert. Just so you're clear on that. The award-winning miniseries is recreated for a live event, exploring our partnership and bond with horses, with a performance by the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra and a choir, which also is not horses. Jordan? Yarr! And that's been the events. Have a great day, everyone. And we are back. We We're are. Back. That was wow, a good show. what a show. That was, that was fun. a fun show. What a show. I felt kind of awkward not having a mic. I'm just sitting there like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but That's it was a good interview. That's about mics, right? <laughs> yeah. And we do this on purpose. It's for effect. Yes. Right? Why have an even number of mics when we can have three? When you can have three. I mean, <laughs> that's two. It's all for effect, right? But instead, we're going to have four. Yeah. And it's all right. a movement, three. right? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's necessary movement. movement. Yes. <laughs> Give me the mic. That's, that's right. That was actually kind of nicely done there, Cliff. <laughs> uh, 
she, she, I'm trying to tease her and she just hands it over. <laughs> yeah. I didn't let go. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to hand it over right now. No. That's right. That's right. Okay, so, you know, the, the, the wonderful guests, right? Yes. I mean, come on. This is quite amazing here. This, 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 yeah, this, yeah this, I agree. Such, such interesting people, right? John and yes. Jennifer, the two J's today. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Jane and uh, and then there's good improv, right? Yes. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think maybe they got hijacked or something. Like, you know, pirated. Or, and good improv has something. one 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 J. So got one yeah. J. It was one J in good improv. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. right? Two J's, actually. Two J's. That's, that's Two right. Two J's. The one of the J's is not here. There's right. just no commitment. There's just no dedication, no commitment. That's, he's boom, right. just like that, he's gone. Yeah. Right? Don't know what to tell you guys. Unless, of course, you know, something happened with him and a pirate. I, I don't Could be. I yes, Hi, can us. I help you? Yes, come on out, gentlemen. Oh, the Justin, mm. and to the kidnappers who are holding Justin, <laughs> we cannot afford the ransom, but we would really like him back. <laughs> We're willing to negotiate. Willing to negotiate, Does, but uh, not monetarily. It's going to have to be goods. Oh, I thought you already negotiated and gave him an eye. Well, we did. Oh. And a hand. In exchange for Justin, we yeah, give him an eye. Yeah. And one of my hands. And one of your hands, and right? And you know what we got back? Nothing. You not didn't get. A note. Wait a minute. You didn't get an eye for There's an no eye. No, Justin. No. Unbelievable! That's ancient. It's ancient wisdom. You're supposed to get an eye for an eye. Right, and we actually expected that, right? Normally, the kidnapper sends you a finger, I know. or an eye, or something to right. indicate that he's still alive, but nothing, but nothing, nothing back. Unbelievable! I'm glad you didn't say he gives you the finger. Well, that yeah, could happen I as well. Gave him five. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it. I guess you don't consider the thumb the finger. finger. Yeah. But uh, what do I miss it? I'm sure you do. <laughs> what do you do with that hook? What don't I do, Bill? I can slice pie with it. I can impale pie with it. Impale. I can I can shave with Listen, it. Listen, impale. Fact, I'm starting to prefer this over a, a razor. So no long. That's the Gillette hook. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but wait see, a minute. But here's the thing: is the pointy end is here. There's no sharp end here. So you like. Well, it's like a right. single blade razor. If you want I closer see. shave, you get more hooks. Right. Right. Obviously. I, have, I, have, I have a sudden hankering for an impaled pie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should get some. Maybe later. we should get some later. That's right. So maybe yes. we need. Just keep an eye on it. We need our, our arts talk fans, right, that like the Facebook page to share it even more. We need to get more fans in there so we can find Justin. So we can find Please. Justin. We we can go on a hunt. Yes. Please like the Facebook page. The. The bandits who kidnapped him said that they would accept that in lieu of money. So if you like the Facebook page, right. Justin may come back. That's right. And if the story yeah, really good, go. and if the story is really good, we have a you know a writer who could write about it. And yeah, that's true. But here's the thing. Right under the makeup, it's Just, you. <laughs> Justin is is missing. But the thing Und- wait a minute. Under the makeup, it's Justin. I don't know. It could be. But Justin is missing. But here's the thing. I'm finding a little bit weird about all of this. <laughs> So, so it's just his face. It's not a Justin. It's not a Justin. Yeah. So if Justin is missing, why is he laughing every time he brings up the fact that we're trying to get him back? What, what are you saying, Bill? That I'm the guy who kidnapped Justin and I'm the one who's getting all the money and like? Are you I, wearing a mask? Because I know him intimately and I like. I think have he's wearing a mask. I think it's him. I'm not. It's just, just my face. Uh huh. You know what? Just my face. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think what happens is I think he's like a time traveler, so he can go into the future. And he's got Justin in the future somewhere. Then he brings right. him back. And then he goes. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, okay? And I'm definitely not the guy who kidnapped Justin. So anybody out there who's thinking that, like, no, obviously. Even though I know all of his patterns and where he works and, like, all that. And I got a car to, like, put him in. No, no, obviously. I'd like to vouch for Dan. I know that Thank Dan you. wouldn't have done this to Justin because I gave Dan my severed hand. At his request, I gave Dan my... Removed eye. To give to the kidnappers, to give to the real kidnappers. <laughs> and I know that he did it. Gave it to the kidnappers. Yeah, not, not did it. I did not do it. So I vouch for him. I trust him. Nice. Well, thanks, gentlemen. <laughs> On that it's note. Always, no, but it's always good when a pirate trusts you. It, well, I guess. I know, right? I mean, Just don't I trust mean, the pirate. I mean, really, right? Right on, you got to shake his hook. I know, right? <laughs> on our stuff. a whole lot of shaking going on. <laughs> Are you just quiet? All right. I don't know what to say. Are you speechless? Okay, so do we, we have to say thank you to our guests. We have to say thank you yes. to our guests. So let's thank you, thank you to Jana. Thank, you. Mm-hmm. Th- thank right. you to Jennifer. Yeah. At least we thank said you. thank you, though, right? Because a yes. lot of people say we'd like to thank you, but yes. then they never do. And they don't. Right? That's true. So, so, I mean, we, we're actually saying thank you to our guests. And right? thank you to these guys. I, I, I would say thank you to Justin, but because he's disappeared and 
for trying to find them. Right. I can't say thank you. I've got to really. say. Untraceable. Untraceable. I have got to say, though, know? I'm so thankful that you guys are doing the events now because I don't know if anybody watched the old shows. <laughs> it was like, I was like, 35 take Heidi. <laughs> 35 take Heidi. Yeah. Okay, so. but this is, not, this is not a reflection on her acting. It was only the events. It was the, o- yeah. Right? Yes. I mean, it's not, I've seen you act. Aww. I've seen you in the movies. Thank you. Right? She yeah. can do everything in one take. We're talking a half an hour shot, boom, one take, just, <laughs> just like, like that. that. No problem. It's the events. These are the issues, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Agreed. There yep. you go. So that's awesome. All right. That brings us to the end of another show. Nice. Another Arts Talk episode. Wow. So thank you, Jenna. The Common Ground Community you, Cafe in Sherwood Park. And thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Everybody. And thanks for watching. Hopefully and the we'll Facebook find Jen, uh, page. Justin. And the Facebook page. Yes. Please, we like talked it. about it. Go like it. All right? Share it. All or, that wonderful stuff. Or Cliff will knock on your door. I will, as a matter of fact, and bring cookies. Remember? That's the gig, right? That's yeah. the gig. Well, it, and and when you see when you see Jenna on there... Go get her book, guys. That's yes. right. Come on. Exactly right. Go and get not, her book. Yeah. No, seriously. I've read the book. It is amazing. You got to read it. Cool. Also... You always you always talk about the Facebook. The Facebook. The Facebook, but you don't ever say anything about Instagram. Right. Come on. Because I don't like Instagram. Oh, no, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I figure that if they go to Facebook, they'll get the Instagram ads on their Facebook, Instagram. It's all the same. No. It's one big gargantuan no. monopoly. No. So that's a good uh, podcast topic. I think it is at, the monopoly. At Arts Talk EDM. That's right. Yes. So yeah. Inst- so the Instagram. Facebook, the Instagram, and the WhatsApp. There we go. We have WhatsApp. WhatsApp. I That's Facebook as well. I guess it is. Facebook it is as well. Yes. Oh, it is. <laughs> well then. Okay. We're learning something new every day. Mm. Right. All right. Well, that's it. All right. Thanks, Common Ground Community Cafe. Beautiful. Yes, thanks thank to you. these guys yeah. over here. Hopefully, we'll find Justin. And thanks for watching two times this month. Yes. See you next month. We'll be back in March. Yeah. We'll see you later. Yeah.